Yesterday I was feeling pretty good. I got everything taken care of and I've got permits by the city. So I started to test this other side of the circuit. Well, I switched on everything and switched on this breaker, which is my PV up on the roof. And the breaker blew and it blew up. So um, I've got some trouble here. Um, uh, so anyway, I thought I'd give you the full experience. So I document my troubles too, as well as my successes. Um, so here's the red wire and here's the black wire. So um, that's what's supplying this. These, this is the, these are the two wires that go up onto the roof. So um, I'll, I'll show you a quick schematic and show you how I'm going to troubleshoot this. <laughs> so you can be a part of the experience. Um, so here are the circuit breakers here. So L1 and L2 run up to the roof. Um, so I'm going to go I'm going to go up, so I'm going to disconnect these. The sun's coming up, so I've got, I got hot solar panels. So I think what's going to happen is the end phase is listening for um, voltage, and it's, it's not going to, they're not going to fire up and, and put voltage on the line. But I'm going to disconnect these lines here at the J box, and I'm also going to disconnect these lines down here at the end phase. <clears throat> so I think the most likely thing is when I pu was pulling wire, I think what happened was either the black or the red is hitting this conduit line, which is essentially ground, and that's popping because this this conduit line is is connected to ground, you know, and you know just for a safety feature. But I I think that I've got I've got a problem with these these not being good. It's also possible that the production end phase cable is no good, um, which I didn't test. I could kick myself right now not to test it before I put it in. I should test it in my garage. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to do a multimeter and I'm going, my plan is to um, um, check to see if I'm going to put a probe on the on ground and and a probe on my black and my red and see if this black or red is connected to ground but I gotta disassemble everything in the J box first again it's really important to disconnect from the array so I gotta pull those wire knots off the array um, and um, we'll see what see what happens so I have my J box open and I did test um, basically I wanted to test um, whether I had, um, I basically put my probe on ground, I was over on the ohm scale, and I was looking for, um, I was touching the, the, um, you know, the wires that I pulled that go down to the box, and, uh, so I was touching like this wire with, you know, here that, that was going down to the box and I wasn't getting anything. I was touching this wire here that was going down to the box, you can see, and I wasn't getting anything on the ohm scale. I was still reading um, that I wasn't, you know, uh, you know wasn't, wasn't shorting to ground. And uh, also then you can kind of see that I was, I would, I could, I could go to, um, I could go to ground and my conduit to ground was working. So I was like kind of uh, not figuring it out until if you look closely, I think I nicked this wire when I was taking the sheathing off. And I'm thinking that it was bent and, he, and touching the box and that probably sent it off. That's the only thing I can say now. It looks like the wires are running good. I'm probably gonna go ahead and um, turn the AC on now. Um, cause they, they appear every, this is, these are the end phase cables and these are the, um, these are the other cables that are carrying AC from the house. I'm probably going to just, um, turn the AC on now, reconnect that down, the, that part down there and just cap them. And then, uh, probably they won't blow the breaker. I think the problem was that red cable that I, 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 uh, basically I just showed you. So... I'm gonna, I'll let you know what happens next. Okay. Um, so I'm downstairs now. Of course, I've capped 
have capped these wires that are running to the roof. This is the end phase combiner box here and the 15 damp breaker that's been kind of going off. And I think I found the problem. So I've got, here's the wires that are heating up this bus that are, uh, these wires are going to the AC disconnect, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so basically it's set up like it was. Um, now I've removed the end phase wire that had that little nick in it, and I'm just testing my wire and seeing if it's going to blow the breaker. But just in case, I think I'll be as far away from the action as I possibly can be. <laughs> All right, so, uh, and I got my voltmeter set up on the... Um, on the volts on the um, AC on the AC scale and I'm just just for the heck of it just I'm gonna put my probe on the I think I could put my probe on um, I'll put my probe on ground here okay so the ground probes on ready to read voltage if whatever happens hopefully the breaker doesn't trip all right so now I've got this switch here this thing seems pretty safe I think maybe I'll, I'll use that in my experiment um, and what I'm gonna do is here's my solar array breaker um, and again I wanted to make sure that you understand that the the end phase is not hooked up it is not hooked up at this time uh, we're just gonna heat up the wires to the roof um, just just so I can see if it trips breakers. So I'm switching this on now. That shouldn't do anything because this is in between now, the end phase. So when I flip this switch, I would expect if this problem continues, which I there's no evidence that it would because I've 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 seen that the wires aren't shorted to ground. So I'm gonna flip this and um and uh oh, I, no, I didn't. I didn't do the experiment right. I'm going to flip this off now. The end phase is on, right? But I, I, I don't want to flip the end phase breakers just because I want to be far away from the action. All right. So I'm going to shut the main switch off now, and now I'm going to switch this breaker on. Now that shouldn't do anything, right? Because I'm not hooked up. All right. So let's see if it blows up. I'll film this. Okay. So. The end phase is on. It didn't blow up. Um, so I think I found the problem. So just for the heck of it, let's read the voltage um, off of um, this line right here. And I should be getting roughly 120 volts. I'm getting 116, didn't blow the breaker. And um, I'm getting 117 over there. So in theory, the roof is hot. And um, if I fix the end phase cabling, which I think I've, I'm going to cut that, just cut that off and then, and then reapply um, a splice, I should, I should be able to heat up the uh, end phase. And uh, I'm going to do it with the panel up this time instead of everything sealed down. Um, so I'll meet you up on the roof.